Hello and welcome to today's episode of Street Voice where we ask Nigerians their views and opinions on topical issues. I am Adiola Adesanya. Join me on the street as we voice your view on today's topic. Uh, the response has been fairly good, though it was a little bit slow because if actually we have a commission that Actu uh, is supervising all our uh, foreigners, or wherever they are, any Nigerians, all over the country. We should have be able to know that uh, the present challenge in Sudan is going to degenerate to this level. So they should have been preaching as early as possible, or pr probably evacuating Nigerians from Sudan before it got to uh, uh, to this uh, point of uh, of dilemma. But so far, so good. Uh, they are trying, though. Planes cannot enter into, into Sudan, but we are we are reading on news that they are evacu evacuating uh, Nigerians with the use of bus directly to the to the border of Egypt. So far, so good. They are trying. Uh, I want to give them thoughts, some that they can do more. But for other countries, we should have people that should study other countries, study what's happening in Nigeria, so that even before war uh, broke out, they should have be preaching evacuation. They should have even evacuated in at least 90% of Nigerians for that country before it gets to this uh, present uh, condition we are. I knew that there was a late response to the effect and my own take is just that we, the government should just try and be considerate sometimes, you understand? The government should always try to, re like if you're an American citizen and you have a problem outside, you know, the response is always quick. And we, we have a government and this is democracy and I believe that we should always make haste to bring our people home once there's a situation like this. It, will, it won't take us anything. I get it. It's not going to take us anything. It's just one love. Let us practice what we preach. One Nigeria. Let us always come together. But when you consider other countries, even before the sudden of the problem, other countries have started moving down there to go and bring out their own citizens there. Why must our own be different? Why must it be when the war is now going on, nobody is ready to so I will just make it clear to you that very, very poor in terms of Nigeria intervention about it. Especially the federal government aspect of it. It was too late. Uh, well, I should first commend them for making that effort. You know, for every government you have to and Nigeria, mind you, Nigeria is not the only country that has a citizen there. But we've seen the response, even the US, and they will make it they are pretty fast. Nowadays they've been very good. But in terms of the effectiveness in terms of how fast they should move or that should have known that earlier. I heard that even while they were moving it, that this Egyptian now refused that Nigerians should not have their citizens, have our citizens brought into that place. So they have to look for elsewhere, like Ethiopia. So that makes it a bit difficult. But I believe the money to be spent is just too much to what they've said. But I think they can do it that way. But regionalize. If they do it, I know Lagos will come first. I'm a Lagos, I know Lagos will take its people there, fast, fast. The issue of decision making is a, is a country whereby the decision has to go through some, uh, some offices. I believe the time duration there for Nigerian government to respond to ev the evacuation is a bit uh, slow. But at the end of the day, let us give God the glory that they still went to evacuate them, finally. We are one Nigeria, and uh, irrespective of the uh, ethnic group we belong to, we all belong to one uh, Nigeria, so it should not be regionalized, and I don't think it's regionalized. From the information I have so far, it's not regionalized. As far as you are a Nigerian, irrespective of, uh, if it's to be regionalized, are we not saying that uh, over 200 ethnic groups, <laughs> every ethno, I don't think that that should be a wrong perception that uh, maybe a particular, maybe they are passing, but I don't think it's generalized. As far as you are in Nigeria, you are carrying a Nigerian passport. Or do we have a regional passport? I don't think we have a regional passport. As far as you are carrying a Nigerian passport, uh, you are entitled to be evacuated from any, troubles, any troublesome uh, country. To me, let's put it this way. If that is the only way, let's assume that I have a child there and I have the opportunity of going there to go and rescue my child. We have been waiting for any federal government. So the same thing happened, applied to the state. The state that really value the cities of their own various states. 
There's nothing bad if anybody can go there. If the, the South will believe that, ah, let me go and get my people, since the federal government is not ready to do it, then let them go and do it. To me, there's nothing bad about it. I would suggest if the government can try to do something about it, I think, uh, uh, what is the name of this one? Dabiri, I think uh, it was there also. And I find out also some, most of this Nigeria also, they are still stranded there also. So they need to do something on time to bring back our children back to Nigeria. Thank you for joining us on today's episode of Street Voice. I remain Adiola Adisoya till I come your way again.